to the home, caught on camera, a driver narrowly misses a bar full of people on karaoke night when he crashes right into it. This is JW's pub in Coventry, and those customers even tried to chase after the driver. The night team's Molly Levine joins us live in studio now after speaking with the owner. Molly? Yeah, Dan and Patrice, it's quite the video. The owner tells me they're lucky the outdoor furniture is the only thing that the driver ran over. Everyone was just like, oh my God, this guy's gonna hit the wall. A scary surprise at JW's pub just minutes before last call. Looks like he was about to park. But then I guess he must have pressed the gas pedal. Oh my gosh. So they crushed my table and my chair. Almost driving right through the building, surveillance video shows customers running out to see what happened. And all my customers went out chasing, chasing after him. Asking the driver to stop, but the driver keeps backing up. Three men outside attempting to stop the person behind the wheel. One even snapping a quick photo of the license plate before the driver hits the gas. Uh, one of my customers was trying to open his door. Here's the video again. You can see the customer hanging onto the door until he can't anymore. The driver speeding away down Washington Street. I guess he almost hit my customers that were trying to stop him. No word on who the suspect is yet or if they were charged. It was only like 20 minutes before we were closing, so I guess they were trying to run here for for last call. But the only call he made was to the police. I called him and said, oh, that guy just hit my uh, hit the wall in my building. Wu says a family member came in and offered to buy new outdoor furniture for the business, but the concern lies with the person behind the wheel, not the table and chair. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm glad that nobody got hurt. And the owner claims the driver continued down Washington Street and struck another nearby business. Now, we did reach out to the police for the report, but are still waiting to hear back tonight. I'm live in studio, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News Night Team.